Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Seeing time, calendar synesthesia. Now, it sounds like it should be something out of the world of sci-fi, but they're people who can actually see time, as in they have a visual representation of time in front of them that's so clear that they can almost touch it. So we've come across synesthesia before in FOTD 30, but this is people who can see time. One lady called Emma is a calendar synesthete. She doesn't have a vague representation of time as we have. She sees it so clearly, it's actually visually in front of her. For her, the 31st of December is anchored strongly to her chest and the rest of the year goes out in a one meter circle hula hoop in front of her body. So the 31st of December is the only time in the entire year when her mental perception, her mental concept of time lines up with her physical body because that's when it's anchored into her chest and the rest of it goes all the way out and back around again. For another woman, Heidi, her concept of time is a backward C that's right in front of her. At one extreme of the C, you've got January and at the other extreme of the C, you've got December. And she also has a separate hoop for the days of the week as well. And this has been part of them as far back as they can remember, as in they've always had this. Now, people's perception of time varies and there's also cultural change as well. Mostly in the West, we see time as we have the past behind us, the present here, and the future in front of us, it's a straight line. In some parts of Papua New Guinea, time flows uphill, and in some parts of China, time flows downhill. But there is a common theme, and the common theme is that time and space are both interrelated. Why? Well, we have a pair of curved specialized structures towards the center of a brain called the hippocampus. And these contain neurons which record autobiographical memories with a timestamp recorded by specialized time cells. So as you experience the world, your play cells keep track of your location in the world and your time cells keep track of your experience in that moment. Now, Daniel Bohr at the University of Sussex said that you can experience synesthesia by associating certain numbers with certain colors repeatedly over and over again. And he also thinks you may be able to teach yourself to be a calendar synesthete as well. If you're a synesthete in any way, please leave a comment below. That is Seeing Time Calendar Synesthesia. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.